Rashid is French and is a young engineer in the chemical industry. He obtained his degree last year and is now taking the opportunity to improve his English language skills. We've got Erasmus students and one researcher from the Leonardo da Vinci program. Aston University's got a, a good reputation for uh, extreme diversity, so from different cultures and backgrounds. So there's, there's all kinds of different projects that we do, but in my research group, I deal with polymer science and this is looking at um, using polymer science in nanotechnology for a number of different uses and the main ones that the students here behind us are working on is um, water purification devices so we're using polymers and its functionality to take contaminants out of water supplies in developing countries so like heavy metals and radioactive waste if it's in the water supply we make these devices that go into the water supply take out the horrible chemicals and leave you with clean water. So that's just one particular project that these guys are working on. But then we've also got other things which are biomedical devices. So we're trying to look at how we can deliver drugs into the body in the best possible way and to target different areas and different diseases like cancer. Here, Rashid continues his research and acquires new skills which will be important for his future career. English language skills are helpful to finding a job abroad. For a start working in England, so he's getting um, good practice at speaking English, which is really important, especially in science, because the language of science is English. So first of all, that is great. But second of all, he's getting hands-on experience in a lab, doing his own research project. So it's good for whether he wants to go into industry, for example, or wants to stay in academia and do, say, a PhD. So I think it's really good. Later. Yeah, what you want to do is you just want to watch, sort of look at the vortex below if you can. Well, if they want to improve their English, the best way is to come to England and get a placement whether it's in a lab or doing science or whatever or just out in a shop but just being here doing the day-to-day -day things just talking to people in the street etc that's the best way of learning English <laughs> 